Welcome to Malaki Studios. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do green screen inside of Shotcut Video Editor, and then also let you guys know a few little tips and tricks I have with green screening in general. So with that said, let's get into it. So the first thing is you're obviously going to need the program actually opened up. Basically, I have my green screen footage right here that I've actually imported of Steve dancing, which is kind of fun. Um, and we also have this one that I imported, which is literally just a JPEG image of a flat world inside of Minecraft. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding Steve on top of this. So how are you guys going to do this? The first thing is you're obviously going to need to actually put this into the timeline, but this is important. The actual order that you put it onto the timeline. Let's make sure that we use the first clip that we have and let's drag that one onto the timeline first. So when you do this, basically you're gonna see this video one track pop up and you're gonna see the video clip pop up as well. Now that you've actually gotten it into the timeline, now we actually need to add the second track. So what we're gonna do is do a right click, go over track operations, and we're gonna go to the video track, press that, and now it's gonna add a second track right on top of it. So now that we actually have that, let's drag this second green screen clip right here onto that top, and I am going to actually just line up this bottom JPEG to the end of it, just so it lasts the entire 28 seconds or whatever. So now that we have that set up, let's actually go down to this timeline, and what we wanna do is instead of having the background layer selected, we wanna make sure we have our green screen layer selected. So have that layer selected, I'm gonna zoom out for you guys. I'm gonna go here, press this filters option, and now that you actually have that, we're gonna press this little plus right here, and you're gonna wanna look up chroma key. So chroma, because this is actually what professionals call it. So we have a chroma hold, chroma key advanced, and chroma key simple. Don't know all the difference is in between this. We're gonna actually show you guys a little bit more of the advanced one just for this example, but I'm gonna click on this. It's gonna add this advanced keyframe. And as you can see, it's actually already changed. Already we can see the background behind him and everything else. So I'm actually gonna go back to the filters. And with this, you can see that we have a key color right here. We also have this right here. So if, if we want to just click on this, and now we're gonna click on this green area on it, and now it's gonna try to take that specific green out of it. You also have things like the red delta, the green delta, blue delta, and you have some more advanced options down here. Like for instance, you can adjust a slope, you can choose the different kind of edges. So if we wanted thin for instance, and really what you wanna do is you just wanted to adjust it just so you have the right key that you actually want. For instance, if we needed to take out more of that red delta part of it, so we don't want as much red, we can just drag that up. And if we don't want as much green, we can drag that up. And as you can see, sometimes you'll notice it'll start to cause issues like this, for instance, where we're getting rid of Steve's hair. But all you have to do is then drag that down until you see everything else come back. And that's basically it. For instance, if you wanted it to literally just be actually the green part that you kept, you could press the invert option and it'll invert that selection. I'm gonna undo this real quick. And um, that is literally about it. So now that you guys actually have this, you can even just play it. But as you can see, Steve is actually now just dancing on this flat world. But something to actually keep in mind is scale, position, and lighting. So whenever you are doing a green screen, for instance, if you're setting it up, make sure you have a complete blank green. So you don't want any shadows on your green screen, things like that. You also want to make sure that whenever you green screen it, that you don't get too harsh of edges and things like that. So using a little bit of a softness or something can help. Adding a little bit of softness, make sure it's not too crazy. But doing things like that, also changing the scale and position, which I'm actually going to do right now real quick. But as you can see, now that he's actually scaled down, he's actually somewhat reasonable to size and it just feels a lot more natural. Another thing you could do, and this is something if you're a little bit more advanced or whatever, you could add a, another layer in between here and make it like, for instance, a little bit more black, add like a mask onto it and then animate that so it kind of follows him and you actually get like a drop shadow 
on the ground so it actually feels like he's part of it and then also make sure that shadow's kind of coming in from here and you could do a whole lot of different things with this those are the basics of actually doing green screen inside of shotcut and with that said guys i do have a video playlist over here that shows all of my shotcut videos and we also do have a video over here that youtube recommends for you and with that said guys remember keep on editing